Imagine a lathe. The workpiece rotates at high speed and the tool moves in two directions, along the axis of the workpiece, that is the set axis, and radially toward or away from that axis, that is the x-axis. This is classic turning, but what happens when you need a contour on the face of the workpiece or on its cylindrical surface? In that case, x and z are no longer enough. You need an additional axis, the y-axis. It runs perpendicular to the x slash z plane and enables movements sideways to the usual machining directions. However, not all lathes are equipped with a y-axis, so what then? In such cases, the control system simply adds the missing axis mathematically and creates a virtual y-axis by simulating the movement through other axes. How this works and how it looks when a real y-axis is available is what we'll show now. For face machining, the plane is activated using the command G15G17. With interpolation parameter IP3, the control is instructed to program in X and Y, even if no real Y axis exists. From this point on, the control converts the XY coordinates internally into polar coordinates. The C-axis takes over the role of the Y-axis by rotating the workpiece slightly, while the tool moves as usual in X and Z. If the machine has a real Y-axis, the basic procedure remains the same. G15, G17 again defines the face as the machining plane, but instead of IP3, parameter IP5 is selected. This activates the real y-axis and the c-axis is clamped, meaning it is fixed in its position and does not move. The contour can now be machined directly in x and y without any conversion or rotational movement, essentially like milling but on a lathe. For the cylindrical surface, G15, G19 switches to the outer surface. Instead of IP3 as on the face, IP1 is used here to switch to the virtual y-axis. The contour is then programmed in y and z on a mentally unwrapped cylindrical surface. The control converts these values back into x and z so that the contour is guided cleanly around the cylinder. If the lathe has a real y-axis, mental machining follows the same principle as face machining. With G15, G19, IP5, the machining is performed directly in Y and Z and the C-axis is once again clamped. 